Hello friends. Today we are going to uh, study what is a virtual machine and how the virtual machines are used. But before starting with that, let's just uh, talk about history, how virtual machines are uh, introduced. Okay, so virtual machines were first appeared in IBM mainframes in 1972. Virtual machine allowed multiple users to share a batch oriented system. Formal definition of virtualization helped move it beyond IBM. A virtual machine provides an environment for programs that is essentially identical to the original machine. Programs running within that environment show only minor performance decreases. The virtual machine is in complete control of system resources. So this is the formal definition of virtualization. In late 1990s, Intel CPUs fast enough for researchers to try virtualizing on general purpose personal computers. Zen and VMware created technologies are still used today. Virtualization has expanded to many OSs, CPUs, and VMMs. VMware is modern virtual machine system. It was founded in 1998 by Mendel Rosenblum. Uh, it was researched at Stan. He was a researcher at Stanford University. See, these are the advantages of your VMware workstation. What VMware workstation does? VMware workstation separates host operating system from virtualization layer. It hosts operating system. The host operating system may be Windows or Linux, any any operating system. Wide variety of guest operating systems. So let's now study. Uh, that was the history part. How it was uh, introduced and uh, how it was developed. Now let's talk about what is a virtual machine and uh, what is the use of your virtual machine. Um, See, a virtual machine is a software implementation of a machine that executes programs like a physical machine. It shares physical hardware resources with the other users, but isolates the operating system or application to avoid changing the end user experience. And virtual machine is part of cloud computing. So, um, now, uh, please listen carefully. See, when I'm talking about virtual machine, it acts as another machine, but on your same computer. Okay, so um, let, now let's take an example. Okay, as a, um, let's talk about my laptop. I have a Windows 10 on my laptop and I have installed VMware workstation on my laptop. So by using VMware workstation, I can use another operating system in VMware workstation. And uh, for using that another operating system, I will be assigning resources, some resources of my laptop's hardware for that operating system. Okay. Uh, and that operating system can be, uh, let's say it's uh, CentOS or uh, it's Linux. Okay, so for that operating system, I have assigned my laptop's hardware. I have assigned some part of my laptop's hardware. So some part of my RAM, some part of my hard disk that I have uh, assigned to that virtual machine. So it will act like another machine, but I'm still using the same laptop, right? But the operating system is different. So you are 
uh, you will get an experience like you are using another machine but you're using another computer but on by using the same hardware of your laptop i hope uh, the concept of virtualization is clear to you and you can use uh, you can use many different operating systems uh, based on your uh, computer's hardware capacity so your processor should be strong enough to handle all these operating systems it does the virtual vmware workstation actually uh, slows down your pc and um, it see it's going to use same your same processor your same ram and uh, your same memory that's why see you are sharing these resources that's why it is very important that your processor is very strong your processor is compatible so that you can use uh, virtual machines on your computer now let's talk about why exactly do we need a virtual machine so first you need to ask yourself these questions where are your machines who has access to these systems how are they managed and what security is in place okay uh, see uh, let's take an example uh, like in our college see you are using all of, all the students are using same computers right so if you want to save something of yours uh, which you don't want anyone other any other student to access then you need your own machine okay so what we can do in our colleges we can uh, use virtual machines like we can uh, create virtual machines you can use only your machine but same on the same computer so the same computer on same computer uh, let's say there are 10 students from 10 different batches and they will hit their own um, own computer experience because we are going to create 10 different virtual machines okay and this is how uh, we can manage all these things the security the management and who has access to these systems okay so that's why we need a virtual machine and now think about any organization again in any organization the employees might need to uh, discreetly save their in informations that's why virtualization is very important the virtual machine share the centralized server processor memory and storage uh, earlier 800 million unique servers were working but now with virtual machine only 60 million server is doing the same work of 800 million servers see this is the system models this is your non-virtual machine i mean one computer and one user so this is the hardware of your computer this is the kernel and uh, these are the processes but if you are using virtual machines then same hardware is used for different virtual machines so here is your virtual machine manager this will manage uh, all the resources and all the virtual machines so vmware uh, we have virtual machine first virtual machine second virtual machine third their kernels are different and their processes are again different. 
okay uh, so i hope uh, you have understood the concept of virtual machine and how virtualization is very important uh, we'll stop here for today and we'll see the next part in our next lecture thank you